Thanks so much, Kim, on another great trip around the world. And thank you so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Plouffe. Well, through the weekend, temperatures a little bit on the cooler side. But regardless, this was some passing showers. But by the morning, things drying out yet again. So overall, in general, less than five millimeters for the GTA. But into the Niagara region as well to the east, that's where we could see some higher amounts, around five to ten millimeters. So below seasonal with those showers, as you can see, it's this little trough that's passing by. And that's what's causing that instability for you. That'll be a story for Southern Quebec as you head through tomorrow. Taking a look ahead, though, through the GTA, you can see high pressure in place, making for some dry conditions. Well, there you go. Your top five videos. You can check out more at theweathernetwork.com. So we had snow timber last week, but this week things are going to be up on the rise. And we'll join Deb Medietchka. Yes, you're in the jacket now, but things will be changing by the afternoon. Thanks so much, Deb. And certainly the sun reminiscent of the spirit of Calgarians after all that snow. No, thank you. You can see, though, we are in good shape as we head through this evening. High pressure is in place. That's going to be bringing us sun and cloud. And even as we head through the rest of this week, we are staying dry. So no shovels. We're not even going to be bringing out the umbrellas. Temperatures as well above seasonal. You can see for our day today, 23 degrees, full sunshine. Temperatures in the mid-20s throughout the week. Coming up, we'll have another look at sun behind the weather. Well, there you go. Look at your top five. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Bannon for Cheryl Plouffe. Now, we're dealing with temperatures below seasonal, so I think we're all on the hunt of finding ways to warm up, and our very own Mike Arsenault found a good solution. Thanks so much, Mike. Really nice to see. And of course, if you're not a fan of the cooler side of these temperatures, then you might not exactly enjoy the setup for this week. Temperature wise in Toronto this afternoon, chilly side. And when you add some rain to the mix, it can often feel cooler. So overall through the GTA, we're looking at a general less than five millimeters. But if you're traveling through the Niagara region or east areas like Kingston, that's where you could be seeing some higher amounts around five to 10 millimeters. That's all because of this trough here bringing the showers. But as you can see, once the evening, the overnight passes by, things will be clearing right up. And that is because we do have high pressure in place. That's going to be keeping us dry through the rest of the week. But we are looking at temperatures again below seasonal by Thursday, only 14 degrees, but sunshine. Coming up. Thanks so much, Kim. Always a great trip around the world with you. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Plouffe. Now, temperature wise, we've been below the seasonal mark, but nonetheless, every and then the rain arrives in Toronto by this evening, sticking around in the overnight and clearing out by the morning. So generally through the GTA, less than five millimeters, but areas like the Niagara region and to the east through Kingston could be seeing five to 10 millimeters. And that's all because of this trough here makes its way through. But the good news, as you'll notice, although we're below seasonal season, the showers high pressure will make its return for the rest of the week so taking a look ahead you can see that strong high in place and that's what's going to be keeping us dry but again temperatures on the slump you can see by thursday only 14 degrees but at least some sunshine to enjoy well, there you go, your top five videos. And of course, you can check out more videos at theweathernetwork.com. Thanks so much for joining me. I'm Chrissy Van in for Cheryl Plouffe. Now, as we head through the evening hours, we'll see increasing cloud and then showers bringing around less than five millimeters for most areas through the GTA. Just in the Niagara region and as well to the east is where we could be seeing five to ten millimeters. But the good news is this makes its way out through the overnight and then high pressure is going to be ruling over the next few days. It is a strong bout of high pressure, so that's blocking us from seeing any wet weather but unfortunately temperatures not looking so great if you do like a warm-up generally 21 degrees is the climate normal you can see through the day today 18 and seeing those isolated showers but by thursday really cooling down only 14 degrees but at least there's some sun